we got a house for you right here. This is an Augusta. You can see it's getting ready to be delivered. So on our website, the Augusta is a 10 by 24. We're going to go inside, show you around a little bit. This is an all black siding. It really pops when you look at it. Isn't that beautiful? Now, it's the same as our regular remodels because you got board and batten up in the gables and you got horizontal siding on the bottom. But we picked this up. This, I think, is number 13 in our color scheme of our models. So it's all black. Black um, board and batten in the gables, black siding, black on our dormers, black on our um, corbel uh, hangers, you know, for our overhang. You still got the 30 inch overhang. Look at that, the stain grade polyurethane overhang soffit, we call it. And this is an LP siding, 50 year warranty. You can't beat this. 79.9. This is 10 wide, 24 foot long. Tom hates when I say no maintenance, but it is very, very minimal maintenance for these houses. Probably just wash it down, and that's about it for all you need to do. And as you can see, it's still got the exposed rafters, but they're painted black. Everything's black except for the overhang. Up here is polyurethane, and it's still got that whole look of a craftsman style home. Here, we'll just walk all the way around it here and give you an idea. This is the LP siding, and you see how we, we put these together. There's a spline in here because these, this wood will actually move and contract and expand, and that hides that crack or it expands or not. All this siding here was done by our representative. It comes here and shows us an actual gap between the siding and the window trim that allows it to move. But this type of caulk is a rubberized caulk. So it is an A1 process. We love working with this stuff. It can be used all over the country in a dry climate, wet climate, north, south, cold, hot. This is a really nice, the only thing I like better than this is probably a stucco where it's elastic and it moves back and forth. This particular model's got a huge window in the back. This is a, now we do have bay windows we can put on them, but this is a picture window, five foot by four foot, 79.9, everybody. This house right here, getting ready to be moved. You know where it's going, Tom? No, I don't. Okay. And as you can see, we've got the, the old fashioned uh, lights that come down on each gable. It also has a, an air exchanger. We've got a water spigot on the outside. This is built like a home. This is a home. It's stick frame, polyurethane, closed cell spray foam. It's got your plugs on the outside. It's got a water spigot out here. Come on inside and let's take a look. So the biggest thing about this one being the 24 foot. Now, the other one, the Dalton is 20 foot. Same floor plan. But let me show you a little bit difference between the Dalton, which is 69.9, this is 79.9. This is huge living room, your bay window, your two sconce lights, got a mini split. You don't need anything else in this house, amenities, except for your appliances, which would be a washer and dryer and a refrigerator, all right? The reason we don't fool with those is because everybody's got a different type of appliance they wanna use. But we use the painted, everything in here, all the walls, our pre-painted polyurethane trim, it is set and done. So this living room is over 100 square feet. Think about that, 10 by 10, or it's really actually 10 by 12, but with the thickness of the walls, you're looking a little over 100 square feet. And what I like about it, there's just so much room to put your furniture. I mean, you can put a, a small love seat, a full sofa, another sofa, a dining room table, you can put an armoire in here, you can put a desk for computing, this is the floor plan that we probably sold, Lord Tom, how many have we sold of these things? Oh, Tons sorry. of them, because of the flow. Let me trade with you, Tom. So coming from the large living room, and then you come into the kitchen. Now the reason I've designed this house to have the kitchen bathroom staircase is that the staircase is kind of hidden, and it's not taking up any kind of space. It's tucked away, it's just two foot wide, and you've really got some security coming down. I always talk about when you're going up and down the steps, you can actually lean on the wall if you need to. You can grab a hold of this right here and hold on as you come down. But it's a real safe staircase. And the treads or the risers, how high you put your foot, is always like a residential home. This is about seven and a half, seven to three quarter rise. And here's our beautiful cabinets. You can see that they're dovetailed right here. You can zoom in on that, Tom. This has got a cooktop, range hood, place for your microwave, plug up here. And these are our high-end cabinets. It's a maple. There's no plywood, there's no press wood in here. It's a full maple, no knots, clear wood, dovetail texters. 
farm style sink, gooseneck faucet. We've added everything you can add in this thing. Uh, here's a place for your refrigerator, all right? The biggest thing that I love about this house, when you're going the 24 foot, right, from a Dalton to an Augusta, is this back room back here. It has a complete room. Um, I don't want to step on that door, Tom. Here you go. So you have, this is like a laundry room back here. You've got a place for your washer and dryer right here, a closet, and then over here you got another room for stacking. And the reason we don't put, let me show you, you can sign that part. The reason we don't put anything here is because you might want to add shelves, open shelves. This is a walk-in pantry. You can put anything in this room and it's four foot by 10 foot and it's a complete laundry room or a pantry or you could even put a, um, a chest freezer in here for your food. I love it. And you got these closets here, right? That you can put shelving in, washer and dryer. So that's the difference between an Augusta and a Dalton. Of course, the bathroom is pretty standard. We have a 36, a 32 inch shower. Now, the reason it's a 32 inch shower is because you have the kitchen, the, the bathroom, and the staircase. We just don't have the width to put a 36 in here. And then, of course, under here is your um, uh, water heater is under here. Normally put it in the kitchen. And then this is closed up because you have your staircase going up. So right behind this is a staircase and of course your toilet. Now, this right here, I left this open because you can, even though you have to get through the toilet to get here, it gives you room to put more storage in here. So even though these homes are completely finished, I always wanna leave room for you all to use your own imagination of how you want to store, how you want to live. Because once you get in here, you're going to figure out, hey, I need this, I need that, and you got room to add instead of us doing all that thinking. That keeps our costs down, gets you a beautiful home, everything you need, and then you can still add your own personality to it. Yep, and this has got a barn door on it. It was in the floor in there. And that actually is a barn door and a floor there for your, your uh, walk-in pantry laundry room. $79.9. Look around 10 by 24 with a walk-in pantry laundry room, over a hundred square foot living room, picture window sconces, mini split. This can run on what, 30 amp, Tom? Yeah, 30 or 50. Yeah, 30 or 50. You can plug up to a small generator. We can put it off grid if you like. I haven't even shown you the bedroom up top. Tell you what, Tom, won't you walk up them steps and show how big that is. So because of the extra four feet, Let's see, this loft is three, six, nine. That loft is 12 foot deep yeah. and eight foot wide. 12 by eight, plus this little two foot spot over here. Yeah, so you're looking in the, the height up there is about 43 inches from the bottom to the top. And you also got two egress windows that roll out so they can be open during the rain. So you've got well enough room for a king size mattress this is a livable house. And the reason I like it is because you got a nice staircase that can flow and you've got a bedroom, huge living room, laundry room, walk-in pantry. Yeah, this, this can do it. I like it. And so, now we go to our bigger model with our Charleston and our Birmingham, and that's more of a downstairs living. It has a bedroom in the back instead of a laundry room and it's bigger. But for $79.9, my gosh, you guys, this is it right here. So hey, Compare our prices, go to some competitors and see what we've done by the painting, the finishing. You can, Tom, show in here the trim. I mean, just how tight it is. You can zoom in. I don't care to show you anything if I could find something wrong. I always like to go down this, this reveal. See, when a carpenter puts that together, he's got to eyeball this little bitty lip all the way around. You can see it's up against the window. It's not full of nails really small pin nails that we use, it's just done right. You don't need to come in here and do any kind of carpentry, cleaning, anything. This thing is ready for your furniture to move in. Yep, so, all right, remember, 79.9 for this Augusta, all right? And our Dalton is 20 foot, this is 10 by 24, and we have an air exchanger in here too. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up if you like, and let us know what you think. See you, bye.